Reviving nightlife that would be safe and attract economic growth is priority for Governor Obiano's administration. And so he, in company of his wife and members of his team, are out to switch on more street lights. It's an exciting moment for students of Anamde Azekwe University as the project reaches their domain for the next phase set to commence according to the State Commissioner for Utilities. Your Excellency, today is the second phase we are about to kick start. Another more than 100 kilometers of Leeds and Ambra State cutting across three senatorial zones. I will give our flavor uh, the opportunity. Dr. To... Opiano gives Anambra State born musical artist flavor the nod to perform the switch and function. Uh, I'm not here to say too many words. I just want to say let there be lies. <laughs> His Excellency, the students of Nam the Azikiwe University, we are excited. Yeah. Excited because today, as you've always done, you have remembered us. Lighting up the state would impact the economy. As such, Governor Upiano inspects a service station which, when commissioned, would operate on a 24 hour basis. The governor is delighted at various investments streaming into the state and assures of government support. The greatest people that will benefit from here will be first the people living around here, the student population, then second the people that live in the other state. That's why we are doing the other road out there now, so that uh, instead of you coming through the main road, you can just come from your area and not be part of the hold up on the road. While the governor continues on his drive to make Anambra the light of the nation, it would make more economic sense if citizens of the state support by bringing in their investment.